Hi everyone, today I'm replacing the hot and cold water inlet valves on my LG washing machine. I have the cold water inlet valve and the hot. On mine only the cold is leaking, but this uh, package uh, was only a few dollars more to get the hot one as well. So I might as well replace both at the same time. This washer is about 12 years old. This is really the first problem that we've had with it where something needs to be replaced. This valve two pack was about $24 and amazingly it was delivered same day. I have another video showing how to diagnose water leaks. I'll post a link to that in the comments and description. In that video, show how to remove the top and back panels. So first I had some water leaking all along the back of the washer here. And I'm putting a towel here to catch the drips. I found that the leak was coming from up here, right on top of the cold water inlet valve. It started off leaking only while the washer was filling with water. Now it seems like it's leaking uh, Pretty much all the time just a couple days later so it's definitely good to re replace these as soon as you can first thing we're going to do is unplug power and shut off the water Next, I'll get some pliers and remove the hoses. We want a water bucket to catch any water that's remaining in the water lines. You may or may not have these. I do, I'm gonna remove those as well. Next, we have to move the four screws that hold the valve inlet assemblies in place. Okay, now that these are loose, we're going to remove one connection at a time and put them on the new part. I'll make sure each connection goes where it's supposed to and each hose goes where it's supposed to. Hot water is done. Next, the cold water.
Moving back all three hose clamps first. I'll switch each hose one at a time. And move the hose clamps back. Place the screws on the side. Four screws are on. I'll put these back on. Next, I'll reconnect the hot and cold water hoses. All right, so we're all done, ready to go. New inlet valves are on. I'm gonna plug it back in, turn the water on. I'm gonna leave this opened up while I run a wash. I'm gonna make sure everything is good, no more leaks. So here's the old part. Can't really tell if, if there's any damage. This is the one that was leaking. You can see that there's corrosion around it while the others are still nice and clean. That's it, we're done. If you like this video, please subscribe.